of the foot and lower leg. First is going to be our medial structures, starting with our bony landmarks. First we're going to start here with our uh, first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Um, and then uh, we go posterior proximal to that. Uh, we have our uh, first metatarsal bone. And then right after that, proximal to that, we have our uh, first cuneiform bone. It's going to be right there. Uh, proximal to that is going to be our um, navicular bone, as well as our um, navicular tubercle. And for this one, um, it's also part of the medial longitudinal arch and the tuberosity can move uh, posterior from the articulation. Um, next we have our uh, tailor head, the head of the talus as well as the talus bone. And uh, that's immediately uh, posterior and proximal to the uh, navicular bone. So uh, sometimes it might be easier if we uh, evert the foot, it might make it more prominent for the head of the talus. Um, just above that we have our medial malleolus, which is the distal part of the tibia bone here on the medial side as well for the lower leg. And then we also have our sustenaculum uh, tarsi, talli, sustenaculum talli, and that is going to be just an uh, inferior uh, to that it's a protrusion that's uh, off the calcaneus, and it's about one finger's width from the malleolus. And it also supports the talus and serves as an attachment for the spring ligament. And then lastly, we have bony structure is going to be our medial tailor tubercle. And this is a small um, tubercle uh, protrusion off the proximal medial border of the talus uh, and proximal and superior to the uh, spring ligament. I'll sh we'll show you next. It's also an attached um, soft tissues, uh, we're going to have the um, spring ligament. Um, so this is also referred to as the plantar calcano-navicular ligament. Uh, this, main, this maintains the uh, medial longitudinal arch of the foot. Uh, it also so inserts on the navicular bone up here. Uh, above that we have our deltoid ligament um, and that's uh, just inferior to the uh, medial malleolus up here. Uh, we also have our tibialis posterior tendon. This is immediately behind and uh, uh, inferior to the um, medial malleolus and sometimes if we ask the patient to uh, invert and uh, plantar flex the foot it might make it more defined uh, there on the medial side. The next uh, soft structure is going to be our flexor digitorum longus tendon uh, and this is behind the tibialis posterior muscle um, and for this one, uh, like if we ask the patient to resist against uh, toe flexion, it may make that a little bit more uh, defined. Next we have our flexor hollicis longus tendon, and that r runs posterior to the uh, tibia uh, back here. And again, if we ask the patient to flex his uh, great toe, uh, it should make that more uh, palpable, uh, either the contraction or uh, seeing the visually. 
Uh, then we also have our posterior tibial artery. Uh, and that lies between the tendons for the uh, flexor digitorum longus and the flexor hollicus longus. Uh, again, you want to palpate that with fingers, not with your uh, thumb. And then also located immediately posterior and lateral to that is going to be our uh, tibial nerve. Um, and that is involved with um, tarsal tunnel syndrome. That's it. We're going to do palpation of the lateral structures of the foot and ankle, lower leg. Um, first we'll start off with our bony, bony structures. And for this one we're going to start over here at the, uh, the fifth uh, metatarsal phalangeal joint, uh, which is if we flex the proximal phalanx uh, we can palpate that a little bit easier. Um, behind that we have our uh, fifth metatarsal bone here on the outside uh, and then at the very base of that uh, is the, the base or it's a styloid process of the uh, fifth metatarsal bone uh, that's an attachment for the peroneus uh, brevis uh, muscle inserts uh, it's also involved with the Jones fractures um, behind that we have our uh, cuboid bone which is proximal to the styloid process uh, and this is where the peroneus longus tendon runs uh, under this uh, groove uh, over to the lateral side. Um, behind that we have our uh, calcaneus bone, large calcaneus and then we also have on there is our peroneal tubercle, peroneal tubercle um, of the calcaneus and that's going to be inferior and slightly anterior to the uh, lateral malleolus. Uh, it's about one and a quarter inch uh, in length and it separates the peroneus longus and the peroneus uh, longus tendons. And then we have, um, ab above that, we have our uh, lateral malleolus. Um, and that, this is going to be the distal end of our uh, fibula bone, uh, which is right here. And then we have our soft tissues for the medial lateral side. And the first one here uh, in front of the uh, Lateral malleolus is going to be our um, anterior talofibular ligament. And in straight inferior to the malleolus is going to be our calcanofibular ligament attaching those two bones. And then posterior to the lateral malleolus is going to be our posterior talofibular ligament. And all three of those ligaments can be involved with uh, inversion ankle sprains. Uh, then we have uh, our peroneus longus and our peroneus brevis tendons uh, if, that we can palpate if we ask the patient to um, evert and uh, plantar flex his uh, foot. Um, should be able to make those a little bit more uh, defined um, as they pass uh, behind the malleolus. Uh, the brevis is actually closer to the malleolus and it attaches down here to the base of the fifth whereas the longus um, lies a little bit posterior to the brevis and it goes under to the, lat um, to the medial side of the foot. And then we have our um, uh, peroneal uh, retinaculum. Uh, that's the space posterior to the um, uh, lateral malleolus and calcaneus. And then lastly we have our interosteous membrane um, up here be between the uh, distal uh, fibula and uh, tibia which we will also palpate for uh, anterior uh, structure.